Again, my obeisances and loving hugs to all of you by the sweet will of our Gurudev. We are going on to search for quotes from Chaitanya Charitamrita in Sri Sri Radharasa Sudhanidhi. And the last time we came up to verse number 137. So I will just sum it again, just that we can dive in again. Last time we ended with Sri Radha, the great mysterious ocean. So Sripad sees Sri Radha as a great mysterious ocean. And there was a quote from Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adilila chapter 16. Everyone knows that lotus flowers are born from the Ganga, but the Ganga is born from a lotus is highly contradictory. Now the Ganga is born from the lotus Fido Lord Vishnu. This is a highly astonishing ornament of contradiction. Everyone knows that jewels come from the ocean. But in this case, the great oceans of Rata's nectarian amorous love, her nectarian beauty, her great mercy, and her motherly love come from the great hidden jewel of Sri Radha's form. She is the great, indescribable and supreme jewel of love. So there we ended last time. Of course, there's always endless nectar here to dive further. But we have to go on. <laughs> So the next quote I found is in verse number 104, just a moment, no, it's not 40, it's 39, 139. Walking over the crown of the Vedas. And if you go down in the commentary, then there's a part which starts with then Sripad Brace. Radhaya Anurupam Eva Paramam Dharmam Rasenachara. When will I perform? Radha's highest duty with great relish. Srimad Bhagavat 1.2.6 defines the highest duty, Param Dharma, as follows. Savai Pungsang Paro Dharmo Yato Bhaktiya Atokshaje Aitukya Pritihata Yayatma Suprasidati. The highest duty for mankind is devotion to the transcendental Lord. This devotion is causeless, knows no impediments, and gives full bliss to the self. Sri Shiva Goswami comments Yato Dharmat Adokshache Bhakti Tat Kata Shavanadi Shuruchi Bhavati. The highest religion is that devotional practice which gives us taste 
for hearing and chanting. So that's an interesting point, I guess. Again, the highest religion is that devotional practice which gives us taste for hearing and chanting. So, Jiva Goswami is talking about devotional practice. He is not talking from Kya. A practice is giving us the taste for hearing and chanting. And this is actually a very nice hint because without Sambandha, you can never have a real taste, a deep taste for the person, isn't it? Just by hearing about a person's quality, you may be interested, you may be even greatly interested, but you cannot develop deep love, attachment to chant the name of this person. is coming out of Sambandha. If I have real Sambandha, a deep relationship with a person, then of course this relationship, this sweet relationship, is causing my attachment to the name of the person. And then I want to hear about the person and I want to relate with the person. I want to chant the person's name. I want to call the person by the name so that the person comes more near. This is only possible by deep attachment. And this deep attachment is only possible in Sambandha. So Chiva Goswami is hinting for us so nicely. Of course, he has to give it neutral, but we can, for us, immediately understand what that means. Radharani's name, the taste of Radha's name, we can only develop if we serve her in devotion, if we do it practically, love in action. Like Gurudev always saying, love in action. Prabhupada pointed this so many times also out, in other words, of course, but he was pointing that again and again, that the seva, the practical service, is the main thing, and we can develop attachment to chant, to hear, if we are in this devotional practice. Because this means sambandha. It's not like a duty, you go to work and you get some money. It's completely different. You are doing it out of love. You serve the person because you love the person. And then your attachment to hear, to chant the person's name will be highly developed. Sripad says, I will perform the highest duty by always hearing nectarian Radha Kata from the mouth of Rasika devotees. And I will chant her sweet glories and remember them. So, and in this way, this will actually relish and uh, give a wonderful base to develop Rati, even higher love, more attention. So by serving and chanting, the chanting is actually giving more taste to the seva, and the seva is giving more taste to hearing and chanting. 
In this way, it's a circle of Brahma. Raganuga Bhakti is called Manu Dharma, the mental religion. Here comes the quote now. Monenicha Sita Deha Koriya Bhavana Ratredina Korevrache Krishnera Sevana Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Think of your own spiritual body and in that Bhavadeya in that spiritual body, serve Krishna in Braj day and night. Like Gurudev always say, 24 7. It's not that we chant some rounds, put the beat back in a corner, and then do something else. The chanting is leading to seva, and the seva is leading to chanting and hearing. It's a circle 24-7, given each, each other more power, more brema, more rati. It's a circle and it's like, like people outside in the material world, they're also running in this. What they call it's the, the ladder of success. It looks like that, but if you are a mouse and you are in this wheel, then you know what it really is. It's just a circle of working and get money and sp money and spend it again. So this circle is something else. We should go in the circle of chanting, hearing, seva, practicing, and again chanting, hearing, doing seva, and so on. And we know the processes till the end. Atmani Vedanam. We are giving ourself. But what means to give ourself? First, we have to come to ourself. And by chanting and by hearing and by seva, we will first of all come in our Bhava Deha or Sita Deha, spiritual, eternal body. And then we know who we are and then we can give ourselves because then we know who we are before how we can give ourselves. Yes, you can give the understanding what you are, that's also okay, but that's not the end of the process. Giving yourself means yourself. So, the process to come in this Baba Deha, the Goswamis are actually giving us. Everything is there. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu brought this mercy, Unnat Uchvala Rasa. It was never there before. It's the highest form of mercy, and we should take the advantage and change the wheel come out from the one wheel and go in the other wheel. <laughs> Think of your own spiritual body. This is, again, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Mune nicha sita teha koriya bhavana ratri dina kori vrachi krishneva sevana. Chaitanya Charitamrita. Think of your own spiritual body and in that spiritual body serve Krishna in Braj day and night. And we can do this so practically. When we hear and chant, we have some taste for seva. So we go in the kitchen and because we hear and chant about our Radharani, we don't think that we cook. We know Radharani is cooking and we are just a little helper. And she is cooking for her beloved. So we can stay in that meditation and ask, Oh, my dear Swamini, what vegetables I can cut for you? What I can do next for you? Maybe I should steal something. Maybe I should do some other thing. And in this way, we can go in this meditation. And by performing the seva, we are always in the meditation. 
And even if we go to sleep, we may meditate. Okay, Swamini, now I massaged your lotus feet. Now you're sleeping together with your beloved. So now I will also take a nap that I will be fit when you awake because then my seva will go on. Then I have to take my things and serve you again, wake you up, you and your beloved, and serve more. So there is never an end. And of course, I cannot say that I'm doing this, but I understood that Gurudev actually is telling us that we should try to come to this level and do that. And even then in dreams, we dream from Seva. We dream from Radharani. We dream about to being her shadow. And then visions will come also during the day. So I can just pray that I come to that stage by the mercy. But at least theoretically, I understood that Gurudev wants us to do that. And this is exactly what is actually written here. Think of your own spiritual body, and in that spiritual body, serve Krishna and Raj day and night. So how we serve Krishna? By serving Radharani. Because Radharani is the most uh, developed Rasika Sevaka. Radharani is serving the highest platform in the most astonishing way. So by serving her, we can satisfy Krishna fully. Otherwise, by trying to serve him personally, we cannot serve fully to Krishna. He will not be satisfied. Because without Radharani's love, he's never satisfied. We know from Rasa dance. And he clearly states it. And we also know why. Because he sees it in that way. That Radharani is his spiritual master. The master, the spiritual master of love. And he wants to serve her lotus feet. So if we take Krishna as an example, then we may serve Radharani's lotus feet. And by doing that, Krishna will be mostly, highly satisfied and astonished. Because Radharani is always astonishing him. So the neophyte should take care, though, that this marana does not become a habitual track. That's a, another wonderful point, because we know there's a description what happens to every time of the day, what service is actually going on. And we try maybe to follow that exactly. But from my practice, the day here in this world is not the same like in the spiritual sky. So sometimes I have to do some seva, which is actually not, not according to that time plan. So what to do then? I'm disturbed then? No, I'm not attached. What I have to do, I connect with Radharani. It's very practical and it doesn't have to follow any principal line. Because we cannot say when we go out, Swamini is going on out on Abhisa, Gurudev is giving this wonderful example, and then she is 
going over, over a slippy path in the night. It's very dark. We try to follow. We slip out, fall, and now we are dirty. Now we will say, Swamini, oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait here. I will go and change my clothes. I will wash myself. Or in other words, you know, uh, yes, some seva had to be done, but I didn't finish my round. First of all, I have to, you know, meditate and I have to, to follow my plan. I have my bhajan. That's a mental concoction, bhajan. Because actually the bhajan is do what is necessary now. Very practical. So we don't have to bend ourselves in some form or something like this. It's a very natural process. Just connect what is now. And it's in one way we know this process actually. Because when a child is in the kindergarten or in the playing room, and is meditating on Mama by cooking. It's more or less the same process, isn't it? So when the child wants to meet the Mama, what the child will do? Leave the game and go in the original kitchen. Take Mama at the rock zipfel, I don't know, <laughs> by the clothes and say, Mama! Can I cook with you? Like this. Because as long we are here in our sadaka, we are more or less like children trying to do seva. But in the eternal body, we can do the real thing, the real seva. So that's why in Shishivila Kuzumanjali, Srila Raghunar Das is crying immediate, immediately. I mean, really, in that moment, he's coming back, back in his Sadaka consciousness. He starts to cry immediately. Because he doesn't want to be there anymore. I want the original. I want to serve you, Radharani, your lotus feet, directly. So this may be our meditation. By the mercy of Gurudev, it's given like that, very practical. So we don't have to bend our life into something. We have to just take the connection, the smarana, in our practical day-to-day -day life. So it's actually very easy in this way. And this is the mercy of the parampara that we have this very wonderful and very practical way to go. The pastimes should be remembered spontaneously as much as possible. The pastimes should be remembered spontaneously as much as possible. Here it's written spontaneously. Srilananda Das Babaji is confirming spontaneously as much as possible. Then the perfection of love can swiftly be attained. Swiftly. So we want to go the fastest way, then we go the natural way. Otherwise, we go around. In Deutsch, we say Umleitung. We are not going directly, we are going around. Like Gurudev is saying, you can touch the nose like this, or you can touch the nose like this. So we want to touch the nose like that, and not 
like that, I cannot even do it. <laughs> I'm fortunate, I cannot do it like this, Gurudev. I have to do like this. <laughs> so I'm lucky. <laughs> Sripa then says, Radayas charanambujam parichan nanu, pa, uh, nanu pacharai muda. I will blissfully perform Radha's formal worship with different paraphernalia, such as tulasi leaves, flowers, incense, and perfumes. Surely I will feel it when she is pleased with my service. If I serve her with attention and attachment, she will be pleased with my service if I serve her with attention and attachment. And that's another point why it should be very practical then it's easy to be attentive and it's easy to be attached. Because if we just cook without her, we cannot be attached to that service. If we are not focusing in attention that now we are going to cook with Radharani, then we cannot be attached. But if we get attached, attention will come more. And this is very practical when the other things are just going by naturally. Because then I can focus. I want to be attached. I want to do it with you, Swamini, for your beloved. You cook for him. I am just helping. When I do bhajan, I can sing that Radharani is remembering more. Special Leelas. I can meditate in so many different ways, whatever I do. So many examples. So if someone wants to share something on that or correct me or maybe has some question, some feelings, whatever, please do so. And of course, Gurudev, like I always ask you, please give us some deeper vision. My God. I like um I like what you I like what you said about um cooking for Radharani, helping my helping Radha I can't understand my accent. Helping Radharani in the kitchen. It's not loud enough, sorry, but I cannot really hear. I like he would hear. The way you said yeah. helping Radharani in the kitchen cooking. I like that. That's good. How we do that. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You might not understand my accent. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe just understand. keep this one and then she can talk. No, no, no. no? It might Did you hear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the speaker is there, and then the mic is here. Yes. I like, can you hear me? 
No, no, open it. Why you close it? <coughs> it's open. Both are open. Rade, Rade, do you hear us? Yes. Ah, okay, good, good. He's hearing us. <laughs> <Too shy. laughs> I like what you said. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you very good. I like what you said about helping Madhavani in the kitchen when we're cooking. That's lovely. Oh, it's, it's really nice meditation. I will do that. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually Gurudev's mercy. He is giving us always very practical way to oh. go in meditation and to stay 24-7 inside. Go on. Go on, very nice hearing. Oh, okay. So the next quote from Chaitanya Charit Amrita I found is in verse number 152. So to, to get the connection, we will read a part of the commentary. It's about the nectarian flavor of Sri Radha's beauty. Srimati goes on Abhisar, the law of journey. And Sripad, in his kinkari form, follows her like her shadow. Waves of constant passion gush from her every limb. Nobody but a Braj Bremika, a lover of Braj, can understand this transcendental extra marital love. The Goswamis have done so much effort to conceal these secret pastimes from unqualified persons. For this reason, Srila Rupa Goswami wrote the play Lalita Madhava, in which he described how the gopis were married to Krishna in Tvarak. And Sri Shiva Goswami described the pastime of Radha and Madhava's marriage in his book Gopala Champu, so that unqualified persons would not commit offenses at Radha and Krishna's lotus feet. Not being able to understand the transcendental nature of their extramarital sports, Yaralagi, Kohite Boy, Seyadina Jane, Taboy Kipa Sukha Ache Tripuvane, Chaitanya Charit Amrita Adilila. What greater happiness can there be? in all the three worlds, then that those people before who I am afraid to speak will not notice. Actually, this is a statement of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. He was so happy that people could not understand the deepness of his writings. Not because he didn't want to share it, of course, he wanted to share it, but not with persons who could not understand it. 
because if someone get it wrong, he will be tracked to hell. And we know that's why Prabhupada was also not sharing that knowledge from beginning on. With whom? The high Ashburys? Or somewhere in New York, in the Lower East Side? <laughs> where everyone was completely involved in other things we don't want to even mention. <laughs> they were on trucks. They would easily get it wrong and they would easily think themselves as enjoyer. So, of course, it couldn't be immediately shared with them. So in the same way here, it's written that actually the Goswamis, they did their best to hide, to hide that. Because it's not for everyone's ears. It's for a devotional heart. But now, it's so astonishing to me, now the time has come that Radharani mercifully is opening herself to everyone. Amazing things are happening. It's I cannot describe it, how I can feel it, but if you have the biggest mercy already and then you get something on the top and then you think, okay, but now it's done, it cannot be more merciful. But then again, mercy is coming and you are astonished and then again, more mercy is coming and even more. And then at one point you say, okay, I, I, I quit, I cannot not possibly understand anything that's going on here. Radharani is actually opening herself to everyone. On YouTube. On YouTube. For everyone available. Their sharings about the most confidential Leelas nowadays. But fortunately, explained by Rasika devotees like Gurudev. So how it came that Narayan Maharaj actually was talking all of a sudden such confidential topics, how it came that Ananda Das Babaji was writing such wonderful books, opening everything, and his devotees are actually sharing it everywhere. You can even get Shishi Radharasa Sudanidi Vilap Kusumanjali for free as files. How amazing! We know usually there were two moods. Goshti Anandi, Bhajan Anandi. So Prabhupada went out to spread the holy name and the mercy of Lord Chaitanya in the whole world. That's one mood. Goshti Anandi. The Bhajan Anandi has the mood to stay in the holy place in Vrindavan go deep in the bhajan and go in his citadel and share maybe with some rare persons who also want to go very deep. But now, astonishingly, both of these moods are coming together. And in this way, 
The deepness of Bhajan Anandis is spread far wide everywhere in the world. Isn't that amazing? I'm highly astonished. Honestly, it's my good luck. I mean, not only my, but <laughs> I'm so happy that we can share about these topics like now. I mean, we know this is recorded. This will spread far wide, as far wide as people can take it. So actually, that's the same mood. People who can understand it and take it will understand it and take it. And people who cannot, there's no loss. They will anyway not understand. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this is really amazing. Gurudev was traveling around the world and sharing about Radharani openly. When I heard him the first time speaking, I was a little bit like, huh? did he really say it? Yes. He said it. I heard. Amazing. All these things are distributed now openly wide over the whole globus. That's really amazing. So we can be in the same mood like Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. We can be very happy that we can talk about this. We can share our feelings together. We can grow in that way by sharing our feelings because this Raga path is about feelings and not about knowledge. And we can share it in this way openly and we don't have to fear any bad results. Because whoever hears Lila's, his heart will change. I have a little story, actually, even in, in my life. A few years ago, I was recording the readings of Shishi Radharasa Sudanidi and Vilap Kusumanjali in German because there were no German books. Now Vilap Kusumanjali is in German also available, but at that time it wasn't. So I was speaking it in files, just reading it for other people that they may hear it during the day because they have all these plugins today. So whenever they go to work and travel around and do what they do, they may hear it. So one person, I gave to him that files. I didn't knew him actually, really. He was from some other Sampradaya. But he just came and said, I heard that you have. And I said, yes, I have. Would you share? Yes, I can give you. So after some time, he was actually calling me and said, you know, I don't know if I can talk with you about this openly. I said, yes, you can talk with me, whatever. When I hear these stories, you know, I think about some sexual things, you know. Then I said, oh, that's not so good. But as far as I heard, you should go on. And by going on, this will actually be distracted out of your heart. Because when you have the higher taste, the lower taste will go. So after two and a half or three years now, I spoke again with this person. It's not the same person. It's not the same person. He changed. Much deeper understanding completely he, he always said oh i'm so thankful that i got this i so thank i'm so thankful i cannot say how thankful i am
So by hearing the Rasa Lila and at least have some understanding, yes, it's, it's, it's holy, it's not, it's not material, it's holy. At least this understanding should be there. But by hearing this, the heart get cleaned, actually. And this is the amazing gift which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually gave to us. Only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could give. Because actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the mood of Radha. She is Sevaras personified. If she is giving something, only Sevaras can be developed, isn't it? Because she doesn't know anything else. She is even forgetting herself, giving up her identity. She is Ma Mahabhav Chintamani, Madanakya Mahabhav in person. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what he is giving is highly frequent. Frequence is changing something, isn't it? If you are always under some special frequency, the whole body will be in this frequency because your body is mainly out of water and water takes this frequency. It's physic actually, not a belief. So by getting this frequency of Mahabhav constantly, you have to change. There is no other way. This is even proved by physical understanding. So we can understand what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was giving us is the most, top most gift. Even God could give to us. Uh, could not give to us, sorry. <laughs> Krishna could not give this. He was there more than 5,000 years ago. He could not. But Radharani, in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, she can do. So we are so lucky to get this Unat Uchvalaras in such a wonderful form, so easy, most natural, most easy, most astonishing, most fresh. It was never there before. It's like a ripe fruit directly from the tree. The most ripe, sweet fruit you can get, it's just dropping down in your hand. You just have to eat it. And your heart will be changed. Easy. And by hearing about these Lilas from such persons like Gurudev, like Ananda Das Babaji, like Narayan Maharaj, like other Rasika Vaishnavas, hearing from the Goswamis, the heart will change and we will develop attachment to the names, to hear and chant about Radharani. This is the most natural process ever. And honestly, I couldn't have take something else. Because I have no qualification. I'm not a renounced person. I'm an attached person. So how could I take 
all these paths for the rest of my life, following four principles and all that, you know. So I tried for some years, it went, it went on, okay. Then I failed. And then I thought, that's it, I'm lost. But then Gurudev brought a more easy process and I had some hope again and I said, okay, maybe, maybe that. <laughs> and this is the Kripa path. We just have to open ourselves for the Kripa, back for the Kripa. Don't think we can do it ourselves. Don't think that our endeavor is our bhajan. No, our bhajan is to again and again receive the mercy. More and more, step by step. Very natural. It's changing the heart through the nectarian flavor of Sri Radha. So we just have to take ourselves put us in this frequency and by the time everything will come naturally. And this is actually the real mystic of this time now we are living in. Radharani's mercy is open for everyone. Very easy to get. You just have to want it. Guravani Prabhu. <laughs> Thank you so much that you are putting us in this frequency. <laughs> of Chaitanya Charitamrita and what you just described, I, I feel so strongly, uh, really, by the mercy of Gurudev, somehow I can feel that this is the mood of Chaitanya Charitamrita and the biggest book that ever exists. And uh, I just, uh, I want to express what I also feel, what you said before, that this is very special moment in this in this age, uh, that to, these two paths of Goshti Anandi and Bajan Anandi put them uh, together, and this is actually natural. All other before it not was natural because uh, Prabhupada make one effort more bigger than which is, is not normal. He bring one pl uh, plant, and is necessary the time that this plant actually gro growing nicely and. Now is obviously seems to be that now is everything's ready, and uh, um, this when these two paths are together, this is actually natural. And uh, all companion of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are natural. Uh, when we read about their feeling, we see that they are natural, and now we can finally put in the natural way and uh, this is really big blessings and I feel very strongly what you said and just that in the same time we have enthusiasm to go deeply in our if um are in us in our deha spiritual body and to serve them and in the same time to feel this enthusiasm to share to others immediately the both path immediately that I can I can feel very strongly and thank you so much that you bring uh, this in front of, of us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Guru Devan. Thank you so much, Bayanidi. You're such such a wonderful thing you said. But first of all, I have to tell you, I'm like a loudspeaker, dead but vibrating because of the amplifier of Guru Dev. So that's the real source. And You're loud speaker of emotional emotions so this is <laughs> what i want to say <laughs> thank you so much these are not my emotions i'm just vibrating in in the vibration actually like some paper <laughs> actually that's true because 
without Radharani's mercy, without our, our Darya, we cannot do anything. It's just the flow coming to us. It's working through us. We are nothing, really. I mean, nothing in that sense that we do nothing. Of course, we are not nothing in that sense. We are the servants of Radharani, and Radharani loves us very much and needs us also. To expand her seva to Krishna, she needs always new sevikas. She needs us and she loves us because we will help her to expand her loving seva to her beloved. So, of course, she loves us, but not only because of that. But it's one aspect. But what you said is so nice. Yes, it's, it's very natural because in the spiritual sky, everything belongs together. There is no split. This is material. In the material world, everything has two sides. But in the spiritual sky, these two sides are actually coming together in Brahma. And it's one. So they belong to each other. And this is also with us. Now we may think that we are, are actually separated from Swamini, but actually we belong to her. And she belongs to us. This is also very natural. And as soon we come on the spiritual platform, this is the truth. But as long as we think material, we are split, because then we are in the world of duality. So it's absolutely natural that these things come together and that we come together with our Swamini. It's the most natural thing. Otherwise, how could be that mercy possible? One soul, two bodies. This is not only the case in Radha and Krishna. Of course, we are not one soul with Radha Rani, but we are Baba Ulas. We are in Baba Ulas Rati. That means like one. There was some cut in the internet. Huh? So we are also one with Swamini in Bath. One Bath, two persons, we can say. <laughs> Babulas Rati, this is our goal. We serve like one person to her beloved. And this is our goal when we go in the kitchen. We serve together with her. Otherwise it's not tasty for Krishna. So maybe he would spit out and say, Ooh, and then Swamini will take it and say, Oh, it's not so bad. I tried. And then he will grab it. Yeah! Because then it's her Maha. In this way, she will help us that he will accept our Seva. That's her mercy. Thank you for that sharing of your feelings. And it's always nice when everyone is sharing his feelings because it helps us to dive more into feelings. And this is all about we need to share our bhavas. In this way, the bhava deya is growing by nourishment. When we are in the association of Rasika, 
Vaishnavas of the same mood. So the next quote I found of Chaitanya Charitamrita, and there are actually more than one, yeah, are two, is in verse number 153. And fortunately, we will also hear the verse, which will give even more taste. O Radhe, your body is swaying on the high waves of the boundless, swelling ocean of nectarian amorous flavors in an indescribable way as you sit on the lap of your beloved with your blooming golden lotus face. When will you thus give pleasure to the eyes of us your girlfriends. <laughs> yes, Manjuris are also the girlfriends of Radharani, but in the same time completely into Sevaras. They don't want to be on the same level like other Sakis. O oh, Radhe, your body is swaying on the high waves of the boundless swelling ocean of nectarian amorous flavors in an indescribable way as you sit on the lap of your beloved with your blooming golden lotus face. A golden lotus in a blue lake. Commentary the aim of devotional service is not to enjoy the bliss that comes along with it, but the service itself. The Aishwarya devotee Daruka cursed his own ecstasy when it obstructed his devotional service of fanning Dwarakanat Sri Krishna. Nicha Bremanande Krishna Sevananda Bhade Se Anandera Prati Bhaktera Hoi Maha Krote Chaitanya Charit Amrita. The devotee becomes very angry at his loving ecstasy when it obstructs his ecstatic devotional service. Of course, one cannot become angry at Ananda itself, for that Ananda is the natural goal of everyone's life. But if Ananda hampers the devotee's service, he becomes very angry at it. Sripad, in his kinkari form, follows Srimati on her way to the trysting place. 
where the jewel of lovers anxiously waits for her. Although millions of gopis desire Krishna, Krishna is mad after Radharani, and her maid servants are very proud of that. How sweet is the Yugala meeting? The nectar ocean of their amorous eagerness swells up when they meet, and the maidservant leaves the arbor so that they can make love. Srimati gives her hero full bliss. In Viparita Vilas, reverse pastimes, in which her golden, vine like body sways in the strong current of Eros. Finally, she becomes tired and lies down on, Shams uh, on Shamsundara's chest. Sham is out of his mind of ecstasy when he sees her beautiful form at that time. And he says, Lila ante suke ihara ye anga maduri, tahede ki suke ami apana pasari. When I see the sweetness of her form after our love pastimes, I forget myself of ecstasy. Srimati also floats on an ocean of bliss when she sees how happy she made Shyam. The maidservant thinks that Srimati looks just like a golden lotus flower resting in the bluish lake of Shyam's chest. Her slender vine-like body is like the stem of that lotus and her face is the blooming flower from which the honey of sweet beauty trickles. While she performs her service, the maidservant is immersed in relishing the beauty of Srimati's lotus-like face. Suddenly, Sripad's spiritual vision disappears and he humbly prays, O Radhe, when will you give joy to my eyes? O golden lotus that blooms in a blue lake, please take the form before my eyes, when I see how sweet you are. We are your girlfriends. Surely your heart will be touched when you hear how much we suffer out of separation from you. And you will take us to the kingdom of bliss for the eyes.
So what a wonderful scene. And I wondered why actually Srila Ananda Das Babaji is immediately giving this quote Nicha Premanande Krishna Sevananda Bhade Se Anandera Prati Bhaktera Hoy Mahakrote. The aim of devotion service is not to enjoy the bliss that comes along with it, but the service itself. So it would be easy for Sri Pad in his King reform to just enjoy that situation and forget to save her, theoretically. But practically, a manjari will never, not even in the highest state of bliss, even when Shyam will faint, she will not, not even for a moment, forget her seva. Because she is Sevaras personified, like Swamini. Whatever the Kinkaris are doing is out of this and nothing else. And this is the oneness with Swamini. She will never ever try to enjoy herself. I enjoy Krishna. No, never. I will give enjoyment to my lover. And because she doesn't even think about enjoyment, she will get the highest enjoyment. The same with the kinkari. They are completely selfless in situations where normal persons would faint out of ecstasy, out of enjoyment inside. She is stable. She is doing her seva. And this is needed. Otherwise, how could Swamini let herself completely fall into her seva? The kinkaris are giving her the base for her highest seva. Without the kinkaris, Radharani could not forget herself completely in her seva. So we may imagine what kind of mercy this is for us. Swamini is trusting her kinkaris fully, completely. They can read her heart to the fullest. Not necessary to say that they exactly always know what Krishna wants or does. Because Radharani can read Krishna's heart easily, the Kinkaris can also, of course, but they will never ever think about, not even in their dreams, to take that for her self-enjoyment. They are completely selfless in their seva. Sevaras personified. Because they are the shadows of the feet of Radharani, like we heard. 
they are taking the feet of Radharani on their head. In this way, they are exactly through the mercy of Radharani like her. They are like her. So this is our goal. Bhavulas Rati. This kind of Rati. That's why we want to be the shadow. Swamini doesn't have to step on the ground. We want to carry her lotus feet to her beloved so that she will not hurt her lotus feet, so that she can let herself fall into her seva completely. So that her softness, her mercy, always be protected. Maybe someone wants to comment on this and or maybe correct me. Jai Shri Radhe Gaurani, Dandavats to all, Vaishnavas, Jai Gaurani. So nice uh, what you were reading, very beautiful and so touching also what you were sharing. And I, um, the golden lotus in the blue lake, I think this is such a poetic and appropriate meditation because it's beyond any mental um tricky you know maya <laughs> because yesterday we also read in our uh, zoom class that uh, rasa by rupa goswami's um uh this uh, prescription or how do you say how uh, um definition is beyond mental uh, speculation it's beyond the mental capacity so actually rasa is a is a gift it's a, it's a given it's something that is is not coming from my own human limited endeavor but it comes from inside by meditating on these beautiful uh, leelas that is one point i want to share that uh, i always feel like this that i am receiving i just i am just the viewer i just i am not the doer that is all what gurudev is helping us to understand again and again by repeating it and by making practical examples in our lives and i like it because the the in this one sentence that ananda das babaji is making at the beginning that is a level that is far beyond um, my capacity, but it makes it clear that uh, it's not for my enjoyment, and and not to hear about it with an enjoying mood is also important. Otherwise, it is completely for me, at least my experience. If I try to read uh, these verses with uh, with uh, any tinge of enjoyment, they become tasteless. <laughs> they lose their magic. That is my experience. 
But that's also a blessing because then I can always check myself in what kind of mood I am. And then the Dasis, they always see Shimati Radhika, no? doing the service and always focusing on Swamini. That is so nice. That is the last uh, sentence here no? of that verse. Oh, on that page, it says that while she performs her service, the maid servant is immersed in relishing the beauty of Shimati's lotus like face. And that is such a good, uh, how do you say that? Protection, uh, maybe sounds strange, but it's, it's a, it's the deepest, uh, angle of Seva Ras that not on, only looking at both of them. And that's why good if you always say to us, before we read any other scriptures, even of, of, uh, Ujvala Nilamini or so, where it's mostly about the, you know, the Leelas of Radha and Mohan, we first get the Radha Nishta with this Radha Rasuda Nidhi and, and especially with our Vilap Kushmanjali, that feelings, how the Das is feel by hearing about the feelings of our prayer. Prayujan, Acharya, Raghunathas Goswami. And that is helping me so much. Because I don't focus what are Radha and Krishna doing there. You know, what are they doing there? Is this, like you said, something like from the human level of, of uh, union? No, it is a completely uh, different dimension that I, as a human, in this form, cannot uh, perceive or try to imagine because it is not of this world. And so I try personally, I like it very much that this comes like in these metaphors, a golden lotus in a blue light, lake or the golden light, because then I can easily, easily grow, you know, somehow into that innocence, into that innocent girl that, who I am and forget or, you know, overcome the layers of former conditionings. And we know these conditions, conditionings are very strong in my chitta. But by repeatedly making that other line bigger, that example, what you always give, Kurdi, with the line, huh? how we can go into the spiritual, more spiritual consciousness to make it bigger. Of course, sometimes I drop back. That is also natural because I'm a conditioned soul in Kali Yuga. Like you explained nicely, Gauravani. But when I know that the mercy is always available and I will never be condemned and I don't have to even judge myself for, you know, falling again and again, I just jump behind Swamini. I don't go home and I need to uh, get off the dirt. You know, because the dirt uh, is an obstruction, but it's not that I have to, you know, concentrate on the dirt all the time. I just concentrate on my service. I concentrate on the mercy flow that is here right now within my life and with all my friends that I have. And I can just count my blessings that there are these souls who have encouraged me to do it. Like you explained also so nicely. That this time now, and also Dianidi said, is so, is so lucky that we are in this time. The dirt is there. Yes, I am slipping. Yes, but I go on. There's nothing to, there's no faults, you know, in all these, you know, slippings and the dirts. It's just like normal in this Kali Yuga. <laughs> so that I like also that meditation is good and always keeps me also going on and going through all the different phases in my uh, spiritual life that I try to practice with the consciousness of this innocent small girl that is of Shimati Radhika's heart. And, um, and always more and more like this, more hearing and more repeating and more sharing the, the, you know, the chitta, chitta and the, the impressions become stronger. And uh, the purity will slowly, slowly, slowly increase until the mercy will overcome all the 
anathas, you know, and that is the rati. What Gurudev explains that as long as the as I am in this body, there will be uh, these problems. The body itself is already a uh, purush uh, bath. Gurudev always says, no? we cannot, um, you know, artificially overcome it, but. With love and with patience and with good association and again hearing and hearing and hearing like we heard yesterday also, that will give the feelings that are necessary to continue in a, in a how do you say, non-destructive way that I think, oh, I'm not qualified and it's all for nothing because I will never make it to so. Sorry, no, I'm bubbling again. But... Uh, that I like very much. That was the subject, and that also you took out the the point of Baba that he made in the beginning, that the maidservant is not interested in 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 ecstasies or enjoying Ananda or enjoying even the joy of Radha and Mohan, but floating in the seva and like this going on slowly and slowly to in my case or our case become purified. And develop a real attachment that is free from material influences. Thank you, Gauravani. Always nice. Thank you so much, Sunidhi. You're always sweet. And you are delivering, delivering the honey drops of Radharani's lotus feet to us. It's such a wonderful point that we are actually just small, innocent girls. Not even in the age that we could understand what sexual activities really are. Completely innocent. This is what actually kinkeries are. They cannot even have any interest in Krishna. It's impossible. They are not in the right age. And this is what we are. This is our real nature. And everyone who tried to enjoy here in the material world after some while, he will understand that he is not capable to do it. Not really. It's, it's losing its taste so fast because we are not made for it. It's like a game of a child who's playing the parents, but still it's a child. And this is actually also a very good base for us. We just have to come back to our nature. That's it. Because it's in the heart, this pure nature. Such a wonderful point. We are just this small kinkeries by nature. By nature, we are just taking the mercy of Radharani. By nature, we just serve her, that she can serve more to her beloved. By nature, completely natural. So we only have to come back to our nature. And then we can even have the leftover better leaves from Radharani's mouth directly in our mouth. The perfect prasad. This was the shift to the next verse, to the next quote. 
verse number 156. This time I will first read the Chaitanya Charit Amrita quote, and then we will go a little bit more in that. Krishna ye koi tambula, kahe tara nahi mula, tahe ara damba paripati, tara yeva utagara, tare koi amrita sara, gopira muka kore alabati. Chaitanya Charit Amrita Antya Lila 16, 132. I cannot describe the value of the better leaves that were chewed by Krishna. They are also most proud of being called the essence of nectar. And being able to use the gopi's mouth as spittoons. With, with the greatest love, with the greatest love, Brahma Maya, Krishna, puts the jeweled betel leaves that were sprinkled with the nectar of his lips in Briyaji's beautiful mouth while he kisses her. And the savor of that sweetness causes Radhika's hair to stand up in ecstasy. Dasivatsala Radha thinks how wonderfully my mate servant has served us by bringing us together here today how much effort she has done. This delicious pan is a suitable reward for her. Then Dasivatsalaradha lovingly pulls the maidservants towards her, kisses her, and puts her jeweled betel leaves in her mouth. The maidservant is very happy with this reward. Then suddenly the transcendental revelation disappears. Sripad does not have anything in his mouth anymore and he anxiously prays, When will Dasivatsala, Sri Radha, put her jeweled battle leaves in my mouth? So this is the perfect prasad for Kinkari. If Krishna would have tried to give a direct reward to the kinkari, she would have not accepted that. Never. Sometimes Krishna tries to give some flower garland as a reward, but then the kinkari makes like this. No, 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 I don't want. Give it to Swamini. If Swamini takes it and give it to me, that's something else. But I will never take from you. That's the move. The Kinkris will not accept Maha from Krishna directly. 
The perfect prasad is when Krishna gives it from his mouth to Radharani's mouth and then the Amrit will come directly from Radharani's mouth into the Kinkari's mouth. This is the perfect prasad. This reward will be taken We can see how deep, even in the subtlest topics, the kinkuris are connected with Swamini. Such a wonderful, nice scene, isn't it? So innocent. And before that, the expert maidservant, Yugala Seva Sutakshan, blazes a delicious palm with fresh cloves and lots of camphor in Krishna's mouth. But it was not meant for him alone. What is the mind of the Kinkari in that moment? She is giving it to Krishna? Huh? Why not to Radharani? Because she knows the heart of her Swamini. Radharani also needs some reward. She's always serving her beloved so selflessly. So the Kinkari thinks, why not giving first Mohan and then my Swamini will get the most delicious thing for her. Not for me, for her. For me, it's not delicious, but I know for her, it's delicious. So let me do in that way. And because Swamini understands the selfless seva in deepness, she is giving that reward. Oh, my Kinkari, such a wonderful seva. Now I will reward you also. Krishna understands the desire in the maidservant's heart and puts his chewed pan in Radha's lotus-like mouth while he kisses her, causing big ghost bumps of ecstasy to erupt on Radhika's cheeks. And now, again the connection to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sriman Mahaprabhu in Radha's mood experienced it as follows. So now we get the connection to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The leftover better leaves of the divine couple. Mm -hmm. 
So in this way, we also want the leftovers. We don't want the prasad from Krishna. We want that the prasad from Krishna is enjoyed by the person who can enjoy it the most. Who is that person? Our Swamini. She can relish it, really. Because only by love the relishment can take place. The person who has the highest love for Krishna can taste, enjoy, relish that prasad. And who has the most love for Swamini will relish her prasad. The kinkari. You thought it's Krishna? <laughs> Without the kinkuris, they cannot enjoy life. No wonder that Radharani's love for her kinkari is, is so endless, like a shoreless ocean. And this endless love of her from this shoreless ocean is coming down through the Audarya Lina. So this is our good luck. No wonder that Prabhupada was in that mood. You should dance and have feast all the time. That's Krishna consciousness. <laughs> yes. If we meditate, what is happening in our Darya Lila to us, what kind of mercy we get, we should dance and have a feast every day. And Prabhupada's mercy brought us that mercy. Without him, there would be nothing. And our Gurudev gave us the right understanding of the grace of Prabhupada. So we see without mercy, without explanation of a Rasika Vaishnava, we couldn't get anything. The mercy would lie there on the street, everywhere around us, in us, outside, everywhere. It's still there, but we could not get it. Dayanidhi, please share. You want to say something? No, just uh, he he makes this movement of the Krish for the Krishna consciousness, and if we look 
what is the Krishna consciousness, what is inside of the Krishna consciousness is Radha. But also inside of Radha is Krishna consciousness. So <laughs> however we put always is Radha in the name. <laughs> so only in Radha is the perfect Krishna consciousness. So if you want to serve Krishna perfect, you have to take shelter at Radha's lotus feet. Even he is taking shelter. Radhikara Prema Guru Amishishana. She is letting me dance like a pupil. She is my guru. Radharani is the real Adi Guru. Param, the original Guru. If we do not take shelter at Radharani's lotus feet, we can never, ever satisfy Krishna to the utmost. You want to give some seva or you want to give real seva? And even if you would be in Sakya, Das, uh, Ras, in other Rasas like uh, parental love, you need the mercy of Radharani because in her everything, every Rasa is perfectly, perfectly to the utmost. Only she can give you everything for your seva. She is going to cook for Krishna. Who asked her? Who is asking Radharani to cook for her son? Mother Yashoda. How amazing! Isn't it that the mother wants to cook for the own child always? She wants to have the best. Why she is asking Radharani to cook? Mother Yashoda is part and parcel of Radharani. But she wants to give all love to her son. So she's asking Radharani. Without Radharani, you can never ever satisfy Krishna to the utmost. That's why a kinkari understands immediately. If I would serve Krishna, if I would have this thought, of course, there's no other way than through my Swamini. But the Kinkaris do not even think like that. They just love Radharani so much and want to serve her. That's it. And because Radharani is Always in Sevaras, all this Seva under her feet will always come to Krishna. So be assured, if you serve Radha, you serve to the utmost possibility to Krishna. Otherwise, not. This is our Swamini. And see how perfectly Prabhupada, in a hidden way, was connecting everyone. So lucky we are. We should dance and make a festival every day.
And this is what we do, a festival of Seva. Uh, Rade Rade, I am uh, Brajabasi Udava from Italy. Hey, Brajabasi Udava, how are you? <laughs> I'm f- now I'm fine now that I'm listening to you. I'm very fine, very good, very high. Thank you very much Thank for, spre- for spreading the teaching of Gurudev. Uh, I feel like Gurudev is spreading the teaching of Mahaprabhu and you devotees are spreading the teaching of Gurudev and uh, help to go deeper in this in this feeling before no I don't understand everything I am not so good in English but uh, Yes, the feeling arrived, arrived very good, the feeling. Thank you also for yesterday. I heard the, the German class yesterday and uh, beautiful topics, beautiful devotees. Um, you have a, a very beautiful community. I want to say also thank you to Dayanidi Prabhu, that is my friend for all the, all the time. He's my friend, uh, he's also my guru because he helped me in such a way to come uh, here. And um, what you say before uh, is, uh, is something that was in my mind. Uh, it's like if you read in my mind, because uh, we, also, we, we do some meeting here in the Sundays, some small, need, small meeting. But uh, the feeling that uh, we had uh, um, is this feeling that you said before is uh, that in Vrindavan, in reality, Vrindavan is, um, is a place, uh, everything in, in Vrindavan, uh, every, every person, every, every different rasa, also the, the, the things, not the tree, the animal, everything is uh, to serve uh, Yugala Kishora, is to serve uh, Radharani. And uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, different uh, devotees that aspire no, to a different rasa, no? perhaps Vatsalya rasa, Sakya rasa. But we have this feeling of um, uni- united, unity, this feeling of, of unity that uh, everybody in reality also who is in Vatsalya rasa, uh, we are trying, we are trying, we are aspiring to, to serve uh, Yuga Lakisora, everybody. Also, who who want to follow uh, uh, Yashoda Ma, and so it's, it's very beautiful. No? You hear also from you these 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 things. Thank you for realization for your realization. Rade Rade. Thank you so much for sharing your feelings. Thank you so much. It's so nice that. Gurudev was giving and is still giving his mercy all over the world, traveling so much and taking the few souls by the hair (laughs) and put them together (laughs) who are really interested to go deeper. So it's his mercy that this platform is there, that these sharings are happening and the base is there for actually our path in every country to go on this path. So how wonderful. Garavani, this is also the way how how to have Mahamantra in every house by Zoom. <laughs> Brihad Medanga again. Yes. And, <laughs> and even the deepest meaning of Mahamantra. Not just the Mahamantra, but 
in the same time also the deepest meaning of Mahamantra in every house. Like Gurudev yesterday explained, so tasty. He is giving us the taste for the Mahamantra. So Gurudev expertly is not just distributing the Mahamantra, but also the taste, how to taste it. Here is the Mahamantra, but I give you a recipe how to taste it. This is really important. It's not only nuts, but uh, open nuts. <laughs> <laughs> nuts with honey over it, or chocolate around, or whatever taste. <laughs> I want just to remember also that we are exactly 500 years ago. If we go 500 years ago, we are exactly in the Leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Jagannath Puri. So <laughs> I can also just feel very strongly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. So time is over. Thank you so much for your mercy, for your sharings. Gurudev, of course, always the biggest hugs and biggest thanks to you and run arms to your lotus feet. <laughs>